I said that I feel like the LGBT community are going to be the group that gets child support abolished. Um Welcome back to Conversations with me. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that PayPal, hit that Cash app to support the show in a real way. Also, hit that bell notification so you can get every video that drops. Now, swear to God, I just thought about this. I wore the shirt there. Now, I just said this yesterday. Like, oh, damn. Okay, all right. That's what I'm going to put on. Yeah, yeah, right? Then this topic pops up. I didn't even speak on this when it first happened. So I guess it's time for me to speak on it now. And it's just perfect timing there. To keep your kids off drugs, kids off drugs. Drop down in the comments, right? And tell me if, because I'm from Columbus, Ohio, if you don't know. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. Um, When we was young, we, we had the D.A.R.E. concert. You know what I mean? Tell me if you had a D.A.R.E. concert. In your city, wherever y'all was at. You know what I mean? They said, keep your kids off drugs. And I wonder who really listened. I don't really think they're programmed me to stay off drugs. Maybe the people in my real life, you know what I mean? I was like, that that shit fuck you up. Yeah, You don't want me out here like that. You know what I mean? So, Brittany Griner gets denied again. Man. Somebody said if Brittany Griner, she's the definition of bad timing. And I and I believe it because you know the whole war thing with Ukraine and Russia and her being caught over there in Russia and US helping Ukraine. Come on now. Why would you let that person go? Right? So then, you know, the administration is saying, Oh, we're doing we're we're gonna work on it. Her wife is saying, No, they're not, right? Then everybody had a big old uproar and was just like, oh, my God, get her out. She's a black woman, a black woman, a black woman, right? So then we, one time I made a video, I'm going to put the thumbnail up, right? Made this video, and in that video I said, nobody listens to you. Who in their right mind will listen to you? Somebody jumped in the comments and said, oh, my God, do you hear what you're saying? Like, who would listen to you? Listen to what you're saying, right? And this is what I mean. People want to be individuals and feel like what matters to them matters to the whole world. And that's just not how it goes. You are a collective. So Brittany Griner is black and she's going to be scooped up with the rest of the blacks. And we're all going to be in the same pot when it comes to this thing called the social totem pole. Yes, it sounds good. Yes, you have a degree. Yes, you're brilliant. Yes, you came up with the cure for this. Yes, you came up with the cure for that. Yes, you invented this. And it sounds great. But when we're talking about the social po potum toe in the world, you fall on the bottom. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I was getting at. And Brittany Griner is the prime example because everybody wants to say, Oh, well, it was a white girl who did this in Russia and that in Russia. And so what? She's a white girl. She's going to get with a little away with a little bit more than Brittany Griner is as a black woman. And, you know, I'm going to echo the same sentiments as other people. And they said that, hey, where the gang at? Where the ABC gang at for? Ain't nobody came to her rescue and said, nah, man, she one of ours. She, we got to get on the front line for her. It's, and they said, you know, it's, it's Brittany, <laughs> Brittany Griner being in jail is black man's fault. <laughs> like, hey, man, LeBron, say something. You ain't going to say nothing. That's how they treating it, right? And that's what I'm saying. My point has been proven with Brittany Griner. You are on the bottom of the social totem pole and no one cares about you. Act like it. People want to say, you want to compare her to somebody else who probably had more drugs than her, and yada, yada, yada. Well, when you are on the social on the on the bottom of the social totem pole, you have to move like it. You have to be clean out here. If 
you can't take drugs into another country, right? If you can't do that, then why wouldn't you just score in that country? Do you not know anybody that can help you get a hold of some vape weed pens in another country? I'm pretty sure they have them over there. It's people who do dirt over there too. Like, you mean to tell me you ain't have a coach, a teammate, or nobody with no type of connection? You just said, oh, yeah, I'm going to stuck these in the side and keep it pushing. You know what I mean? Not understanding that and really not knowing, but you really not understanding. You thinking all your other cards trump your black card and it don't. Not when it comes to dealings in a world as massive as this one. So it's looking like Britney just about to have to take them 10 until this war is over. Or they give up who they want to give up for Britney Griner. But this is what I mean. We have to start operating in a in these settings as if we're on the bottom of the social totem pole. Stop acting like you're up here when you're really down here. Now, even though I'm saying this, I'm not saying stay down here and be down here and you're nothing and you're the scum of the earth and nobody likes you. I'm not saying that. Because yes, on the individual level, people love you, man. You the best. People want to be you. They love your style. They love how articulate you can be. They just, they love you. They want to be you. Yes. But when it comes to this thing called the world and operating in it with people around you, we don't care how great it look. We said these are the rules and you must follow them. Dare to keep your kids off drugs. Y'all, she got caught behind enemy lines. Sometimes when you get caught, you just caught. And sometimes we just got to take our L. And that's the thing. It's talking. We talk about accountability and people who should hold their own nuts, uh, you know, courtesy of Tariq Nasheed. And sometimes some shit is just meant for you. That's what I'm dealing with in life right now. You know what I mean? Like, because you see videos of, of like little freak accidents happening on the internet right and in my head i said man just sometimes some of this shit is just right for you like you riding up the street a person this is a video i seen uh, riding up the street a person open a car door bam bump you right into traffic man some stuff is just meant to happen to you and this is just britney griner getting her nigga wake up call in the words of paul mooney you know she getting her nigga wake up called. LGBT community ain't there for you. The black people like, ah, we can only do but so much. Ah, which is going to get me into my Kanye conversation. Ah, how much can we do? We're reaching Brittany. Ah. <laughs> Y'all jump down in the comments and let me know. Now, if you don't know, Brittany Griner is a deadbeat dad. You know what I mean? I talked about that years ago because I said, this is just off on another tangent, right? I said that I feel like the LGBT community are going to be the group that gets child support abolished. And the reason I said that is because you get stuck in these relationships where you have to take care of children that aren't yours. And pretty soon people are going to get tired of that. No one is going to want to keep in. And, and, and I spoke to someone about this situation. It was like, nah, the title means too much. Let me tell you something. The title don't mean a goddamn thing when money coming out your pocket. Money be trumping all titles. Money trumps titles. So you mean to tell me I'm getting X amount of dollars taken out and I don't have no connection to this kid when she had the baby with from somebody's sperm in the world. And this is real. This came out of her womb. And I'm just playing the role. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get this. Let's let's tweak these rules. If you made it this far, drop a basketball in the comment section. Get down in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about Bernie Griner getting denied once again. Like I said, Brett, Brad, you just gonna have to do them ten until things lighten up right about now. You know what I mean? Just got to chill. Stop trying to appeal it. That's fucked up for me to say because I ain't never been to jail. So who am I to say chill in jail? You know what I mean? That's, that's, I, I'm, I understand how that sounds. 
but it's not looking good for you either. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend and tell a friend, hit that PayPal, hit that cash app. Conversations with me.